Welcome back to the Anti-Man channel. We are back with another Stop Display segment, and we are back with the second installment of how to shut down the motion HB swing. We're going to get right into it. The play is cover three out of the nickel 335 Sam, so we come right into it. And what you're going to want to do is the setup is very, very simple. There's actually no setup involved at all. You just want to make sure you let me get this right over here. You want to make sure you are on the either the slot DB, which is this guy here, or the strong safety, depending on which side the swing is coming to. So in this play, the swing is coming to the right. So you want to get on the strong safety. A lot of times I'll just click on the, um, when we come out, out of the start of a play, I'll click on the free safety and just come down on this guy right here. Or if the play was going the other way, right, if the offense is flipped the other way, we're going to want to get on this guy right here coming down. And that's it. So let's flip it back. Let's see if he comes like this. So the way we want to want to stop this is you're going to want to, the way I like to do it, I like to hold down on the left trigger or right trigger. And as the play starts, you're going to want to take two steps down like this. Let me see if I can get this. You want to take two steps down from right over here or two yards down like this and then you're going to want to kind of split these these um the receivers over here you're going to come down in between them and when you come out on the swing you want to make sure you split and you slice in between them because if you don't you'll get picked up and your opponent will be able to hit that that uh, swing pass so what you want to do is just take a couple steps down and come through that lane and blow up the play in the backfield so the computer will give me a little bit better chance to show you how you need to use with that defender right there. But the, the result is going to be pretty good. Now let me just throw this out of bounds. And you're gonna have, it's going to take you a little bit of time to, to get used to it, but it's very easy once you get the mechanics down. You want to slide through right there and make sure you get in front. Now right there I couldn't see where the running back was and the computer actually threw it but all you need to do is just take a couple steps down and then slice through at like a diagonal 45 degree angle and make sure you get out there and right there because um, the pressure I think the pressure was coming the computer just throws it away I wasn't sure but he maybe just threw it away because he didn't like the look and right there you just make sure you just sit with that and yeah the pressure did come in Khalil Mack came in for that sack right there and that's that's pretty much it you're gonna shut it down you're going to be in that passing lane. He's going to look. Your opponent may not even see you, actually, because he'll think that it's open. And right here, I'm trying to screw around, and somehow he escapes. But, again, your opponent is ne not going to see you. Hopefully, he's not. Hopefully, he'll just throw the ball, anticipating that the swing pass will be open, and you will be jumping that, and you'll be taking that back for six. I can guarantee you. If you run it correctly, you'll be taking it for six every time your opponent runs it. So the first time your opponent runs this on you in the game, he may think he's had it because you won't be in the right play. But as soon as you think he's coming back out in that formation, I would what I would even do is call timeout, make sure I got this play called, and just be ready for that play. Because if it's not that play, all you're going to do is, if you take a look at the zone, just play your position, just play the curl flat, position so if it's not the play you'd end up just playing that curl flat position this is what happens when you don't actually get down there and try to jump it is that your opponent I'm gonna let that happen let that run again you will get blocked and the the blocking will set up and your running back will get the ball like right here I get picked up we get a free rusher but our opponent gets eight yards now we don't want him to get any yards we want him to get zero yards or we want a big play with the turnover because he won't expect us coming so we sit here, we jump it, and we get Khalil Mack pressure. Especially works if you have um, some pass rushers like Khalil Mack, J.J. Watt, Geno Atkins, somebody who can disrupt and get in through there, especially with the high block shed. You will definitely shut this play down uh, pretty much instantly. Uh, let's see. The other way. Oh, let's run it back the, the other way, actually. So let's just sh I'm gonna show it to you flipped. So this time the... The swing is going the other way. You just do the same thing. Come down a couple steps and make sure you jump in front of that passing lane. 
And right here it's showing a, a, a uh, why I got picked up on that. And see, that's why you want to make sure you practice um, the mechanics of getting out there because you don't want to get picked up because it'll screw up this play, which could be a big play for you. So make sure you just split those receivers and your opponent will throw um, the pass away. Now you can see right here, I just wanted to say one thing on this, is that the, co the shell coverage that you actually see when it's flipped the other way looks like cover four instead of a cover three. So you actually will throw off your opponent because he may look at this and see cover four and think, wow, this is cover four. I'm going to get this screen, uh, this swing pass all day um, and just throw it blindly and you'll be there to jump that. So that's just one thing to think about because it gives your defense a little bit of a disguise when you're running it. And especially if you jump out like that, your opponent will probably hesitate if he's a good quarterback and the sack will be coming because it's, it's his only option right there. Let's run it against the other ones. It's the same exact thing. I'm not going to run it against um, the other tr trips plays like the wing offset because they're pretty, pretty much the same thing. It's just a trip set out to the right and it's going to be the same exact. But there was one play where the blocking was different. So let's try this tray offset open, which when we ran it against, um, what was the play? The three overload fire kind of gave us problems in terms of getting that end. And right here you see there's no problems running it. Like it's the same thing. You want to make sure you split the right receiver and the slot receiver to make sure you don't get picked up. Now right there I get picked up, but the pressure comes in with the block shedding. And right now I'm not even doing anything. I'm not even um, pass committing and nothing. I'm just letting it, just running the regular play, and I'm just running out and splitting it. And somehow they're getting very good pressure getting to the quarterback. Um, so you can see it's the same setup when you're running it against that play. and actually works better in terms of there's no real chance of getting picked up by a block unless you mess up with your angle to making that pick or making that tackle. Uh, let's run it on the other famous swing play that people like to run, which is a slot offset. Same thing. Make sure you split those receivers. Take a couple steps down and don't get blocked. And you just take it away and the pressure will come in every time on your opponent. Run it one more time. Take a couple steps down. Make sure you run out there and take that. Let me flip this one, flip this to the other side just to see if the coverage changes. So we're going to run the nickel 335 Sam cover three. And cover three is not a bad defense to have anyway. Um, if, you, if, it is, if it isn't the HB swing, you'll still be in a cover three defense and you can just play your position on the side of the field. Yeah, so again, this is going to be a cover four look, but we're still running cover three. And I'm just going to do the same exact thing, run out there, make sure that that running back is not able to just catch the ball and hope that my opponent literally just throws it blind because if he does, I'll be holding the triangle button and we'll be going back for six. So that's going to do it for this edition of Stop This Play. If you like this video, give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber already. we got more content coming out. I've got a strong, close scheme, uh, defensive scheme that I'm, I'm running that for me, I think is probably one of the best strong, close defensive schemes out there. So stay tuned for that. Until next time, the Anti-Man is out. Peace.